Good morning to all my coffee drinkers and Tumblr users. It's our Mike. It has been a long while since I've made anything involving the Keurig. So today I figured it's about time we do that. I found a new coffee finally that I've been wanting to try for a while. So let's go ahead and check it out. I have it all wrapped up here so to conceal what it is to give it away right away. Um, this coffee you can find at your supermarket whether you go through Walmart, Target, uh, you might be able to find it at um, King Supers, possibly. But uh, I know it is a very popular coffee. It is not a cheap coffee coming in at $17.99 for a box. And yes, this box is for the Keurig. Uh, this works with the Keurig 1.0, 2.0 model. Uh, as you can see, I don't have my craft here in the screen because we are not using that this morning. And it is still on the drying rack drying out. So... Anyway, back to our coffee here. Let's go ahead and crack it open so you guys can see what it is. And then we will make a cup of this as well. And we'll tear through our front. And look what we have here. Some Death Wish coffee. So, as you can see, the name in Quahis Death's Cup, single serve coffee pods. So, yes, this works with the Keurig 1.0 model and the 2.0s. And just to show that off, it is written here on the box compatible with most Keurig K Cup Brewer systems, including 2.0. So, Distributed by Death Wish Coffee's company, World's Strongest Coffee. These guys are located out of New York. So, uh, let's see what else. World's Strongest Coffee. There is 18 pot, or that's 18 fluid ounces out of each one net worth. There's 18 cups in here worth. This is a fair trade certified USDA organic. Um, on this side here, test your strength. What do you have? Do you have what it takes to handle the cup of the world's strongest coffee? So then they have a website if you guys wish to visit that. On the back side, world's strongest single serve coffee pods, Death's Cup. Death Wish Coffee was created using the strongest possible combination of organic and fair trade beans and roasting them to, in small batches to perfection. Death's Cup uses single uses this signature blend in. Uh, convenient single serve cup that is both strong and delicious some may say making coffee that strong is irresponsible we like to think it's revolutionary so uh, like we said works with all these different types of coffee makers 18 pods uh, one thing they don't show you on the front or the top of the package but on the bottom you can actually disassemble this and recycle so they are responsible here Sustainable capsules in three easy steps. One, let it cool down. Two, peel off the top. And three, recycle. So, these are recyclable. Let's go ahead and crack it open. See if there really is the skull and crossbones in front of this on each pod. And there actually is. But it's not red like they show there. We have Death Wish Coffee. So, not for individual resale. Uh, I do like the texture to that. Obviously, our pinhole is going to go through one of these sides. Um, the other thing, this does not actually tell you what strength this is. What kind of strength. If this is like a medium roast, a strong dark roast, more than likely being that this is Death Wish and it is a strong coffee, it is going to be uh, extra dark or ultra dark roast type of coffee. So we will go on ahead and uh, get my wife's cup ready, and we will go on ahead and throw one of these in the machine and see how they come out looking, like how dark the coffee itself looks. Alright, let's throw our Death Wish in. Make sure it recognizes, yep, ready to go. We would do strong, 8 ounce cup. Let's bump it up to a 10 for her out of a 30 ounce tumbler. Now for her, she likes hers over ice, so we're gonna pour it out hot, take a look at it, and then put ice over it. And hopefully that'll be enough for her. All right, 
so her coffee did come out very strong and super dark, almost muddy-like at first uh, when it was coming out of the machine into this. And obviously by the time we get to the end of the 10 ounces, it's looking more watery. So looking down in there though, you can tell that is some dark, dark coffee, like super dark stuff. Um, I'm going to go on ahead and get a taste of it really quick. All right, so yeah, that is some definitely some super strong, like black, almost black stuff, some black coffee. Um, try to get some of that to slosh around. Yeah, you can tell by the look of that stuff, it is strong. Taste of it wise, taste wise, it is definitely, it tastes like a super dark roast coffee. I can't tell if there's any like nutty flavor to it or a chocolate flavor. Give me a second. All right, so um, my teapot was whistling because I was heating up some water to throw into my tumbler before I put it underneath. Make sure I preheat it and gets nice and warm. But uh, back to the coffee tasting. Um, yeah, I can't tell if there's any nutty or chocolate flavor to it. It just tastes like a super strong dark coffee. That's the easiest way to describe it. So I'm going to go ahead and top hers up with ice. Uh, make sure that's enough. I might have to add some more in and then I will make mine as well and then we'll come back to it All right, so my wife's coffee's done and good. She's happy with it. My Cup is preheated and ready to roll so As you guys can see here, I have switched tumblers. I am actually using a new uh, Ozark trails one brand new. I think it looks a little better with a Nebo light. The reason I picked this cup up, I want to give uh, another cup a try. It's been a while since I've used any other tumblers too. I've stuck with my Artix for quite a while and some Yeti, so it's time to go back to Ozark since they had a new model. And preheated it. Hopefully it's holding some heat there. Um, it had some boiling hot water in it. Like I said, that's why I had the water boiling earlier. Let's go on ahead and get the coffee going through this sucker. Um, I'm going to use at least two of these pods, minimum, that'll make 20 ounces. We will let this one cool down on its side, throw in a new one. Just going ahead and set this for 10 ounces, and we'll let it go. And you guys will see this stuff will come out super dark while we wait for that to get dark. There is our pod resting. Let's see how dark this stuff comes out. Not bad at first, looking pretty brown. And then this stuff gets like muddy looking. And it's starting to darken up. So, alright. But anyway, we'll let that finish its thing. Like I said, maybe we'll go through two of these. Um, actually, while this one's kind of hot still, we will try to peel it. Grab a paper towel have off to the side here. We will go on ahead and peel this so you guys can see. Um, I don't know how many of you have all have done a video before about how these can be recycled, but it is good to see companies do this. You can peel off this top, and then we should be able to just dump these grounds and the rest of this can go into recycling. So let me do that. All right, so foil top is washed off. This is my first pot out for my cup that's done already. And then I have peeled out the, dumped out the grounds out of our uh, plastic part of the K-cup, peeled the filter out, and we are left with a disposable, or not disposable, a recyclable piece of plastic here. Um, most uh, recycling companies don't take foil, so I mean, maybe if it's big, long, heavier sheets, they might take it for recycle, but most of the time these are just going to be trash. So make sure you check on that with your recycling company that you go through. Okay, so my cup of coffee is done, as we can see. I have that sucker pretty well up there, and that stuff is super dark. So it is a good, strong coffee, I'll tell you that, just by the little taste test I've had of it so far. Um, I'm going to add in my little bit of creamer, just to bring it up to that line. Hopefully change some color here. It for my coffee, and we will put this stuff officially in my rack with all my coffees you see there in the background. Those aren't just first display, this stuff does get used here and there. It all does depend on who comes over and when, and when somebody wants something to drink. So, 
But yeah, that is it for our first look, my first look at this Death Wish coffee. Uh, like I said, you can find this in your local retailer for the K-Cup if you guys want it in K-Cup form. You will also find this for uh, ground or you can buy it in whole bean as well. Um, I haven't seen it too many places in town, ground or whole bean. This is the first time I've actually seen it in a K-Cup form, so that's why I decided to pick this up. Um, if you guys like the video, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe. You guys all know the routine of what to do and how to do it. Um, yeah, it's something different, that's for sure. And uh, as you can see, this is pretty much taking over the whole rack here of space. Short, just one. Move one over and do it over here too. So there we go. Almost uh, two. Almost half of my rack is taken up with these pots, so it will get used. But uh, yeah, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and hopefully I'll have some more coffee videos. Maybe some new tumblers in the future. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are interested in seeing. I will see you all in the next one. Have a great morning.